Welcome back to our One Clutch Man Challenge. Uh, I think today we're going to be focusing a lot on research and infrastructure to get everything kind of uh, laid out to make kind of the later pushes towards higher appeal totals. Um, so we might not introduce any more new dinosaurs today. Uh, however, we may actually introduce a new dinosaur today. So that's going to come down to this Parasaur's cohabitation requirement here. 27% right now. Uh, we got to see if this includes the Polycanthus or doesn't. If they, if they haven't actually properly mingled with the Polycanthus yet, um, this will go up a fair bit, and we probably can't put another dinosaur into this enclosure. If this includes the Polycanthus, we might be able to squeeze another species in. Um, unfortunately, the only thing they cohabitate with uh, easily is the sauropods. Everything else is going to affect that limit there. Uh, but we might be able to squeeze in the Nasudos. We also want to reorganize the park today, get the Innovation Center moved back over here, and start to rebuild more efficiently around a better placement of like a new arrival point movement. Well, if we move the arrival point, it will be a new arrival point. Move the arrival point, get everything positioned better around it, and streamline the park a bit. But that is going to have to wait for when we have more money. We just finished our research, so that's something else we can do here, is go through our research again and look at what we want to get done. So if we want to do the aviary, that's going to get pretty expensive. Um, we're not going to push for that. That is insanely expensive for guest attraction modules, so we're not pushing for that either. Um, so yeah, nothing under attractions. Guest comfort, we could do paths. Probably should at some point. Um, large hotels is another option. Probably should do large hotels before we need another hotel, but right now we're good on that front. Let's pop over here and look at some ratings. 96% on transport. That'll get fixed soon. Accommodation is 100%. Path capacity is well above the current amount of people in the park, but we also might have crowding in the shops. 16, 0, 16. No, actually the shops are pretty good. So Paz isn't going to do anything for us yet. So we're going to put that off for a little while longer. Infrastructure. We have cost upgrades. Can't afford it. Could be relevant, though. It could save us some good money in the long run. And then staff improvements. Which we probably don't do until we need. Power, we get alternate only. Nothing else is available, so nothing there. Then amenities, we'll be good on medium for a while. So nothing there. Genetic modifications. Cross species. And group are probably ones we should get. I would also like to unlock more skins. So, this one is a skin, but 875. This one's only 350. Cross species doesn't lead to a skin. Um, so, we can't do that with who we have available. What's the requirement here? Same? Are they all 2.9? No, that one's just more. Okay. So, genetic modifications are things we're going to do soon. Even though we can't do them yet. We've done our inoculation. That's all good and good. Aviary is 875. So is the lagoon. I mean, we could push the aviary pretty soon. This We could push the aviary this episode, I think. If we get some money coming in. Also might want to upgrade the fences. We had that para break out really quickly. Um, I don't think we will. I don't think we'll worry about it. If we're on top of, like, rabies, it won't be an issue. We got our Dimorphodon we're doing right now in the dig. I don't think we need to unlock anything here. So I think we're just kind of waiting for money and a few decent mid-sized research projects. So let's see what our fossils are in 30 seconds. Take a look at those. And then, yeah, 26 out of 27% on this appeal. We should try to finish this contract. Problem is we have nothing we can do with that. Short of putting it. Ooh, that is a huge get right here. Buried treasure again? High tier. Give me the rhodium and the buried treasure. We need that money right away. And then we got a ton of Dimorphodon. 
Let's uh, clear all these other fossils out too. That's a ton of money right there. You need to rest so we won't be doing a dig either right now. Then you'll have to be rested afterwards as well. So you do that, you get rested. And then we'll have to rest before we do the next extraction too. So we're gonna just probably hang out here for a bit and let some stuff run. I decided that for research we should do staff improvements, so I've queued that up. Um, we can change our contract here. We're, I don't think we can reach 27% appeal right now. We probably need to get the Dimorphodon in. The Para Cohabitation did not include the Polycanthus, so it's actually at about 31-32%. So I don't think we can add a new species to the enclosure without upsetting the Paras. So we're not going to do that, which means it is going to be the Dimorphodon that comes in next which probably means it's going to be next episode, I would imagine, because we have a lot of research to do to get that done. Um, I think if we take amenities to provide for the guests, this should be free money. So we'll replace our appeal contract with this. One medium drink. Yeah, 50000 bucks to get 250000 Absolutely worth it. Um, we'll just toss it in down here. Not even configure it. Don't even worry about it. The second it's built, we're just going to delete it and refund it. Um, so yeah, there's our staff improvements. Um, Outstanding. Let's call this one complete. I think we go straight into the aviary research then. Okay. So now we have everybody available. So if we want to do the aviary dome. Oh yeah, that's right. She needs to be rested. Well, we'll figure out what we need here. Because this is, it has to be three scientists specifically. Okay. Which means it's you two for sure, which covers that. And then we need the welfare, which is probably then you, the incubation person. So we need two additional points of welfare. Probably put them into the incubation person. Specialize her in that more. If she has the two points, I'm not sure what they get here. Cheaper incubation. Yes. All right, you get those, you go rest. Let's knock out maybe just a really quick genetic research. Um, oh, except we can't because we don't have enough points on genetics. Um, also with the cheaper research person resting, resting, I actually don't think it's worth it. No, we're not gonna research. We need to save, we need to make money to do other stuff. So I don't think it's worth doing any research if we're not using cheaper research. If we go to expeditions, you get used up. But that's fine. We don't need you for the research task. But we do need faster. But it doesn't have to be faster. Oh, also we have extraction to do. So that's not a full extraction anyway. Demorphodon's done. Well, that's an interesting. I didn't I didn't consider that it'd be done. We could go dig up some Nasudo. That's already got Part of the genome it's something else to add or we do a pterosaur to add to the morpho what's our next pterosaur we should do a second pterosaur right away um desung yeah desungariptorus so if we go do a desungariptorus dig that's gonna be here 180,000 is not bad cheaper well then you i guess yeah, because these two are needed for the research. Okay, cool. That works. That works. Got a storm coming in. I don't expect the storm to provide any trouble for us. It'll just be the usual healing up with the dinosaurs afterwards that we'll have to deal with. So I'm not going to actually include this. Nice healthy selection of fossils here. Again, a ton of Desungariptor. So we've got three sets of footprints, which is another 600,000 coming in there. Let's, um... We don't need to finish the Dimorphodon in this batch, so let's just optimize this, pull out the last Dimorphodon fossil, and just go for the first Desungriptorus fossil here. Just switch a two for a three. Um, get that going. So you need to be rested. We need you guys on the research project, which I should be doing because it looks like you're ready. And then you can do this. So you do that, you rest, and the rest of you research. So let's get the aviary hatchery. That's the wrong tab in here. The aviary hatchery, or the aviary, base aviary research in general done, not just the hatchery. It's also the dome. 612, another half of our money committed there. 
that should be good and our storm is over well let's go ahead and get the shelter closed the park open and we can get our dinos checked here uh we had one instance of frostbite which is treatable from the medical van so i took care of that already um we can probably just quickly scan through here and look for anything that doesn't have 100 hp bingo and that's probably dinos that are sick so you with 82 the other struthies are good um, polycanthus 100 and 100 the brock is good we just checked that the paras are good okay so it looks like we got one sick dinosaur to deal with the struthie in the back there that should be fine the new expedition to the rest is done i guess we'll Oh, everything will be done here in a hot second, actually. All right, let's do another batch of fossils. Now we definitely want to finish up the Dimorphodon. Should be this first one, yeah. Let's grab the Amber for Desung. Three, two, and a two. We can't quite finish it, um, but that's fine. Go ahead and do that. How is our Struthi? Yep, that's what I expected. Hypothermia. So by the time our research is done, actually, yeah, the research will be done before then. I've got something for you. Uh, monthly contract. Give Build an amenity. Something. Improved profits. Amenities easy. Medium shopping. Amenity medium shopping. Build it and then delete it, and we get free money. Okay, aviary research done, but we gotta get this done first. That is a three. We'll send you on that. All right. And then let's look at our next piece of aviary research, which should be the viewing gallery. Construct the hatchery first. Okay. Yes, right, right, right. Uh, we should get the upgrade though, which is incredibly expensive. Hmm, and 16 welfare needed for the upgrade? I mean, in theory, we could put out weaker early batches, but I don't think that's smart. Sixteen wealth or sixteen treatment or wealth welfare. I always mix up with it's treatment or welfare. Um so we put two points here to get to five. That's probably a four-person research project, right? Yeah, four. So we'd have five, maybe. Well, we don't really want to put it on him. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Currently. Oh my gosh. We'll probably have to hire somebody if we want to do that. Which further causes a problem in that we need welfare five right there. Further causes a problem in that, yeah, this guy's expensive, extremely. Actually, so expensive comparatively, I think I'd rather hire this guy and then just train him up a little bit, maybe. Oh, that's a problem. Four. I mean, we could put the points in him. He's only faster expeditions, so it's not super important that he's specialized. So that would leave us with nine. 10, 11, 12. Then 13, 14, 15, 16. We can pull it off. 16 is just doable. If we commit all of our existing points to welfare. So it'd be two points to your welfare total. Two points to yours. And then probably two to yours. Yep. And then like two to yours. Or... We put them into you. We save your points for genetics. Because you're our only high genetics person. And you have a high skill cap. And we'll need you for synthesis. So why don't we save her points for genetics? We put welfare into these three. To meet the requirement for that research. Yeah. You'll get capped at five. Then you'll be a three. You'll be a four. And you'll be a four. Yep. That's the plan. 
That's the play for sure. So we got to sit here and wait till we have about 3 million bucks. Probably probably closer to 4 million. So that's what I'm going to do. That's a win for us both. Okay, I've been doing a big redesign rebuild of the park. I'm in the middle of it, but a new month has rolled around. Uh, we lost quite a bit of money this month, both on the rebuild and the park closing when I moved the entrance, but we're doing pretty good. Break even. Reach your financial break even point. That's going to happen guaranteed. We're in the, paleo the park is still reopening, sure, but as you can see. However, it's that um, we do have some glitched attractions, multiple glitched attractions. So I have to do a reload, but I need to finish moving these around or I'll just have to reload again again. But yeah, this is what we're looking at. We're putting the innovation center here at the back end of the park. Attractions, our first set of amenities. The entryway is now moved right to here, nice and in line with the innovation center and these first attractions. The shelter behind it. And this forms kind of a central square that we're building off of now. I think we will grab um, some of these. Actually, the arcade is a good one to move right now. And I think we'll put our next set of attractions in kind of like right over here. As close as we can get. Oh, these, these roadways shouldn't be here. Yes, I need to delete you. Delete, 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 and delete you. We get, yeah, we move this one first. This gets moved down here to this new section like this. We can get the yeah, nice precise lineup that goes there and then we can delete some of this we're gonna have to move this power pylon but that's fine that's basically expected this was all temporary just to keep things powered uh, but this can go right next to the shelter and that'll be pretty good so that goes like that, and then we grab you, and you get moved in over here, right in the line, mirroring the other side where we move the other attraction. Perfect. Oops, didn't click down the actual confirm button there. There we go. And then we could probably put the next two right next to it, and then build a pathway up and around the set of attractions. So I think that's what we'll do. And I also reshaped this enclosure. I shaved off one section down here so that we can put the aviary in right in here. Um, and this is the extension we'll add to this enclosure later. For now, I want to try and keep the dinosaurs in view of our existing attractions as, as much as we can, which is why I've, I've uh, not, not opened this up for them. The only one that's unhappy with having a little bit reduced space is the Brocky. But the Brocky is always unhappy just because it... it can only barely keep its own territory anyway. Um, so we're just going to live with the Brocky having about 90% comfort and just make sure everybody else is always happy. Um, and then once we breed our own Brockies, we can uh, tear this line down and let them in. On that note, actually, Brocky was like tier 4 or something like that for sauropods. Yeah. We can do this. We might be able to push to Brock. Save Momenchi for like Endgame and Kamara. We can push to Brock. We could do another enclosure with a Pados. Um, we're not going to do any of that quite yet. We're going to get the Aviary first, but I think we'll seriously consider pushing for Brocky after the Aviary is set up with the Desung and the Dimorpho. Yeah, because this is only 38 out of 107 on this Brock. There's plenty of lifespan left, so we can get a herd out to support it better. I think that would be a good idea. Well, I'm going to continue working on the redesign off video here. Okay, I didn't include this in the video, but we just had both a construction accident and an archaeological dig on the restroom. So we've got uh, basically just a netted about a million dollars just shy. And we took a hit to publicity and then then took care of it immediately with the archaeological dig. Uh, but we do have the sabotage still available here from the accident. So that's the only part of the accident we didn't immediately counter with the archaeological discovery on the restroom. So we might have an issue with that, but we might just sneak through with an extra million dollars. Either way, uh, it should be a gain overall. So this is a new sabotage we haven't seen before. Electric fence failure. I This is, seems like it might be the best one we could possibly get because it doesn't matter if the fences are electrified or not because we've got just a few herbivores. It's like, whatever. Um, we'll queue up the rangers to go reboot this and everything and take care of it. Uh, currently still in the middle of doing big old park rebuild here. I've got a bunch of stuff moved over here that is just about to get moved back. 
Uh, I'm actually curious, if I move this back to where the sabotage is, is it going to work? I mean, basically. Yeah, this was, I think, yeah, basically centered on that area right there. So you get to go back in there. Like that. And then I think we can grab these shops. And I think they can tuck in here sideways pretty nicely. We should consider which ones we have where. Steaks. So we should have food, which is this one, down here. So you get over here. And then we've got root beer and leisure wear. So leisure wear is the one that's furthest away. So we grab the hats. Put that here. Actually, hats is probably going to go over here or something. Or over here. Yeah, actually, over here kind of works. Maybe. Oh, let's put the drinks next to it. Drinks and food should go next to each other anyway, right? Thematically, conceptually. Oh, nice. And they do fit right next to each other, which is fantastic. Okay, so we do that. And then these can be expanded, I believe, to large right in place. I think think and the bathroom probably stays back there that's probably a fine enough spot for it and we need power here so the unpowered section is basically just right in here um i think we'll just skew this over this way kind of like right in here and then we're gonna have to clean up these power pylons uh at some point Actually, we can start to do that here, because this one, if I can click on it without deleting my paths, doesn't need to exist. Yeah, this can just go to you, and then you can just go to like you or something for now. Yeah, this pylon needs to be here to reach this back one, but that's going to be fine there. Okay. Now you get to put, get put back in over here. You were kind of looking out at the waterway. Might want to wait on that. Because we might want to move this hotel. Let's get this one put back at least. So this probably goes tight to the to the thing here. Like that. Let's grab this hotel. The hotel gets slid down here and can get tucked in basically wherever it fits here. And that gets visibility of that little corner there. Great. And then I can go ahead and flatten the rest of this back out a little bit more. And where that hotel was. Right like that. Great. Okay. Well, we're at 1,651,000. We're kind of getting a little slowly closer to the amount we need for our research, but just the rebuilds here have kind of uh, stopped me. Medical units are needed immediately. What for? What happened? Where? Um, I think you probably just split the difference and go like right in here. It probably was connected to this path right back here anyway, wasn't it? Uh, I imagine so. We might move that again and put two of those in actually. I would put it, it would have to be, well, would want to have it kind of where the hotel is now that I think about it. Oops. Yeah, there's a path. This path should come through here, like this somewhere. Uh, we'll do that until we, we'll wait until we rebuild some more of this. I'm probably going to slide all of this stuff down and around the corner here more. I imagine. The fences have all been fixed. Yes, they have. We got this one power station I, I tucked over there because we didn't need it. Um, so now, how are we doing? Upkeep cost is tracing our profit right now. Amenities are good. 
transport rating 88 percent restroom 97 shelter 95 part of the problem here is we have a hotel that i left down here this has to be moved hmm now this is a problem this whole thing Staff center actually might be able to be tucked down by the innovation center somewhere. Yeah. Not sure there's going to be anything else that we'll use this area for. It fit in there a second ago. This one's not going to be any better. Not going to be any better. But we're going to find that spot. It's going to work. This is the perfect spot for it. Although it'll be unpowered here, which is a little awkward. So, can we... Basically, we need to move this one behind here. down here somewhere basically um yeah i think we just connect it up over this way for now and call it a good day uh nope you're the devil it doesn't matter we're going to change it it can just connect however it needs to connect here it's fine. Just to get that stuff repowered. Okay, perfect. Get this hotel moved. We want to make sure the ratings are good before we move all the other buildings. So the hotel gets in here somewhere. I could delete the uh we'll delete the gate. Let's delete the gate. You can see that the fence is not level because the whole park's been slightly adjusted in elevation. We should use some decorations. We haven't used decorations at all yet. Yeah, you can see how the elevation here is a little messed up. We'll work on fixing that in a second. Um, we're just going to get that hotel moved and make sure the ratings are sorted. Constructed by standard path. Yes, you go back here, right like that. Great. And then we can power this up a little differently. Yeah, like we can put this pylon in here to cover this stuff more. Because right now we're gonna have a gap that might become an issue. Maybe there? Um, no, that's too much overlap. We're gonna move the ranger station. Probably down this way. Why don't we just leave this alone? We'll get this built and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, we got another freebie contract here. We could just do the build amenity again. Let's get some uh, in place. Not sure if this is our new one or if this is an old one. And we need world class facilities. It's been a little okay, it is medium drinks. We can't just turn one off, can we? Oh wow! To getting other people to get things done. Some call that That's insanely good. The quality. All you do is toggle on and off an existing amenity, and you actually get the contract. That's very high tier. Um, I also do still need to do my reload to fix the duplication bug. Um, let's get this gallery moved back in, and then I'll probably do my little reload, and we could start to work on the aviary too. Actually, let's take a quick look at, yeah, so I want to move this down a little bit. Um, try and get our rating improved here in terms of transport. I think we'll just put it there. 
gets it a little closer and gets it on the right level with the hotel and everything. Um, if we take a look at our rating, so transport rating 97% is the only rigs remaining problem, but then the rebuild is complete. Okay, so let's get the aviary then in. So the aviary gets tucked in over here. So the question is how I want to do this exactly. I think I want to build it in kind of maybe into that gap in the back hillside. Let's make sure, I guess it really doesn't matter if we're flattened towards the aviary necessarily, but we'll flatten this out anyway. Just because it removes any issues we might run into. Smooth it out because it looks like shit otherwise. Fantastic. Okay. So I think we want to leave enough of a gap to sneak a path between the fence and the aviary. So I think we build into it right in this hillside here. Kind of. Maybe... I don't remember if these are the connection points. No. I mean, that's a three-wide aviary. But I'd like to... Yeah, I think I'd like it. I should have maybe just let that build, huh? It's $100,000 technically wasted. Okay, so that was trying to do like that, but it snapped to the middle part. So I think if we do this, it should snap forward from this position. Why don't we just go over a little bit more just in case it doesn't do what I expect it to do. Okay, that's what I what I wanted. Except now I'm actually not sure that's what I want. <laughs> ah. No, that's probably good. Because the viewing gallery sees too deep. So the viewing gallery is right on this end here. For a three-tile aviary, it gets the full view. And we could still sneak past this way with the hatchery. How much money do we have left? 1 mil 700. Yeah, so we put the hatchery in. Oh, we can actually fit the hatchery in on this corner. That's actually pretty good if it doesn't get blocked by the uh, the hillside here. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so we just do... This path can continue down here somewhere. But not indefinitely. Why don't we just go ahead and just put a path in it doesn't matter we just we just need a path we can redo this little section of the path later when the rest of the infrastructure of this section of the park is actually built and we care about how it looks um, and then we can grab this power station we've been holding on to and just tuck it down here by the hatchery and everything just kind of back in this corner I think somewhere like that and just connect it to the grid. That's not on the thing. It's right there. We just run it down. Um, I think we just run it straight towards the existing tower there. Okay, so that'll be our starter aviary for Dimorphodon and Desungaripterus. And when this is powered, we can actually do the research as well even though we don't have it yet. Um, and then I think everything down here we're going to leave alone for now. Why don't we go ahead and clean this up? We'll grab this this capture, the ranger station, and we'll tuck the ranger station down here a little bit more. It's still close to the entryway. Go ahead and link that. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Link that up to there. This can get deleted. We can leave this little zigzag in here for now. It's not a big deal. And then we just got to go ahead and link this station back up to the rest of the grid here somewhere. Doesn't work, huh? Doesn't work either. Okay, why don't we go from here? See what does work. Well, you're just going to be rude, aren't you? Yeah, we'll just run it past and then link it up. Perfect. 
Okay, so that basically finishes at least the full rebuild on the side of the uh, guests. All the guest infrastructure is properly rebuilt. And look how much space we've gained by doing this. This entire section of the park here was occupied. And now by shuffling everything around, we've pulled a, a ton of more space uh, into the park there. Which is quite a good thing for us to get. Uh, oh yeah, this is rebuilding. I was trying to get my rangers to go over here and do some stuff. Um, oh yeah, yeah. We needed the not just the viewing gallery, but we needed the hatchery upgrade before we did that. Um, so that's, yeah. We're still waiting on the hatchery upgrade then. Well, why don't we... We could end the episode. I think we'll go for a little while longer. We'll try to get the research going this episode at least. Another contract month here. Um, might do guests. Well, I guess amenities can earn more is kind of the same and is worth slightly more. Um, we don't have anything right now to pull this off with, but we can try some stuff. Uh, I guess we could take a look and make sure that these are configured correctly. Yeah, they're good. Oh, I can do my reload. I should do that. Okay, I've done the reload. Um, so our appeal is up slightly higher than what it was. Not enough to finish the contract. But maybe when some other stuff comes in view, maybe. Oh, we have So we have 93% transfer rating. And it includes these paths here on the side of the Innovation Center. If I delete these, does that just improve my, my, my rating? Like, directly? Is the paths just going to, like, be detrimental? Because it certainly seems like that is the case. 94%. I mean, we gained, like, a percent, I guess. So it made a difference. I mean, those paths were purely aesthetic. So if they're going to penalize me, we're just going to get rid of them. I'm wondering if when we put in the viewing gallery here, if we might need to, like, consider swapping around the... Oh, we finished the amenities contract. So yeah, the the reload plus maybe a little bit of extra dinos coming into view actually pulled that off. That's pretty high tier. We can do our research now. But yeah, stop talking, Dua. I think we might need to swap this and turn it around, though. Or put it in sideways, even. I think we'd turn it... I don't know. I like it facing the Innovation Center. I think that's really cool aesthetically. We'll have to see what the transport rating is like once we put in the aviary viewing gallery. Um, and if it's a problem, then we'll have to adapt to it. Um, we could probably do this now. 16 treatment. So I said it was going to be these three get pushed, right? To four. To three. To five. Then we swing over here, we go ahead and do this. Cheaper than all of you. 2,450,000. We'll start it. That wipes out quite a lot of cash. But we need it before we can breed the Dimorphodon. So I guess we'll just hold here until that's done. Oh, we hit 2.5 stars for the first time. Without doing anything. I guess we got exactly everything in view. Huh. Strange. That that was very borderline, that 2.5 then. Okay, our research is done. Uh, we've got the aviary upgraded. We've got to wait probably to get the money we need to synth the Dimorphos. Uh, oh, it's actually pretty cheap. Um, problem being that we are in a storm right now, though, and I need to deal with any fallout from the storm. So, we're not going to do the Dimorphos this episode. We're going to wait for the storm to finish. We're going to get any dinos from the storm that need treated, treated, and then we'll do the Dimorphodons. Um, which will also give us a chance to start recovering a little bit of money post-storm, which is a good idea, too. I put in some cross paths. You can barely see them right here through these empty lots since they're not currently used this improves the transport rating by a few percent which can make a little bit of a difference for money uh, and it might make a quite a bit of a difference when we put in the viewing gallery on the uh, aviary here so we'll see how that works out for us another thing we could do if we want transport rating to get improved is well one thing we could do is we could actually delete more of the paths here maybe actually i'm curious about this 
Right now the transfer demand is bad here. For as a science experiment, what if we just do this? 95%. If we delete this and we delete this. Does that just make it better? I do not suffer fools gladly. Or Don't let your guests get hurt. Sell more tickets. This is like free. I was correct in sharing this latest objective with you. 98% transport. Yeah, so for whatever reason, the side paths here were a problem. We're literally just better not having them, which is very weird. I don't like it. I'd like to have the side paths. I mean, why are we 96%? It looks like this is the problem area now. How does that make sense? That's what I don't understand is why this would be the problem area when the entrance is literally right here. Very confusing, actually. Oh, ah, uh, shit. We're, we're, yeah, 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 yeah. Close all shelters. Storm is over. Okay. Um, so yeah, we just got to get some dinosaurs, check they may be treated here. Did we get through that storm without, like, any issues? 100%. 100%. My paras aren't status checked. They're all 100% HP. Uh, I think we got through that storm with no damage. That's great. We gotta get open again and making money, of course, but we're fine. In theory. 96 transports. Wait, what was the other incident? Safety rating 64%. Why is it 64%? The storm is over. Might be just recovering from the, from the post-storm here, maybe. Okay, well, next piece of research is the viewing galleries. We have an online hatchery, right? So we can actually get the viewing gallery. I think. We should do the viewing gallery before we do the Demorphodons, actually, because of the lifespan requirements. So that's 16 logistics and another $4 million. Oh, absolutely, we need to do that first. We could also do a gyrosphere and just have it track through the aviary. It's a small aviary, though. I'd like the viewing gallery, I think. That's a lot of money, though. If we put in a tour, actually, we could put the tour in somewhere closer to the entry point of the park. And we can delete this viewing gallery, maybe. And then have good transport rating. It also means we can expand the aviary backwards, too. Hmm. I think we do gyrospheres. We gotta remember. Oh, shoot, the feeder. We're gonna have to do this whole line to get to the feeder. Cause we don't have a carnivore yet. It'll be fine. We can sedate them if we have to, I guess. We just need to make sure we have everybody rested and ready when we do that. Okay. Gyrosphere, please. Cheaper research and whoever. Yeah, go ahead and do that. I think we should probably just finish this to Sung up too. Wait. Oh, it's not even done. Oh, shit. We actually don't have enough. I didn't even register that. Faster, cheaper. Cheaper is busy. Shoot. I used the wrong person. Okay, so we had to go out and do to Sung Ripter still. Oh, man. I completely boned that. I was not paying enough attention. All right. Well, why don't we end this episode here uh, until next time?